by Jocko Willink. Uh, that is where the foundation for personal responsibility in my life and in our accountability group and what have you, that's where that definition has come from for me. And then also can't hurt me. Uh, coincidentally enough, both of them are written by former Navy SEALs, one David Goggins and the other uh, Jocko Willink. But that second book, Can't Hurt Me, is where I pulled the term who's going to carry the boats and really, <laughs> really learned a, a few things that I've applied and, and played with my own mind uh, in life. And it has, been, it has been a damn time. So those would be my two top recommendations. We can go, you know, deeper on those. But yeah, yeah, no, that's a great place to, to start it off. Yeah. Uh, so for me, I like <clears throat> the, uh, not the alchemist, what I was about to say, the Cabalion. Mm-hmm. Now, that, uh, that is by the three initiates, but basically the Cabalion is a uh, framework. It basically runs through the basics of the uh, hermetic laws, the hermetic principles, which are the laws of the universe. So contained within that are things like that, that saying a lot of people have heard of before, uh, as above, so below. You know, that's, that's a, a, a basic interpretation of one of those laws. So you have the law of polarity, the law of rhythm. Um, you know, the law of gender, the law of, uh, you have these different laws. I don't know why. I'll, anyhow, I like that one a lot because I find it as a good foundation where once one becomes familiar with those universal laws, mm-hmm. in my experience, everything else falls in line in some way, shape, or form inside of one of those laws or a mix of those laws. So it was kind of just like a first principles approach to it. Uh, and I came across that a few years ago. Uh, so once again, that's by the three initiates, and it, uh, it it's good stuff. Uh, and then aside from that, it's kind of a toss-up, but I think the four agreements is, is something that everybody can use you and apply. You made the next thing that I said. Hey. Yeah, yeah four yeah, agreements yeah. is a great book. Yeah, so Don Miguel Ruiz, <clears throat> uh, and basically the, the, the four agreements in there are um, always be impeccable with your word. Don't take anything personally. Always do your best. And I always mess up the last one. Do you remember what the last one is? Hmm. No, because I never have that book more than 10 feet away from me, so. Got you. Yeah, but it's really good, and I literally always only remember three for some reason out of the four, so I guess the one I always forget is the one I need to work on the most. But, uh, but yeah, so, uh, oh, yeah, maybe something about gossip. Anyhow, those are, are, are two that off the gate come, on, come to mind for me. Yeah, and then I would say from there, I also, we have talked about, and I don't know if you would consider this self-help unless you want to go so broad as, uh, helping thyself is self-help, but mm, mm-hmm. whatever. 48 Laws of Power, great book uh, to understand uh, and to then look at historical context around the things that Robert Greene goes into um, and the significance and how it's played out in, in the past and how we can see those same tendencies in the future and really not necessarily having such a mastery of laws that you can recite all 48 of them, yeah. but more so that you understand the context in which they're presented in and how there is carryover that could be beneficial to the lives, not only you, but all those people around you. Um, and then another book, and I believe it's by Sun Tzu. It is. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Art of War. Great book as well. <laughs> uh, and you could call that self-help and you could also, I mean, you know, 48 Laws of Power, Art of War, sounds like we're being a little aggressive here. <laughs> Does not mean, I mean, Savon has said on previous podcasts that Sometimes enemies are virtuous, uh, and sometimes you need to understand some things that, you know, deviate a little bit from the norm. Even if you don't apply said things in day-to-day life, it is great to have an understanding of them, uh, because without them, you might be left in the dark sometimes. Uh, In situations that if you just had a more understanding conceptually of what was going on, the Mm -hmm. social dynamics, the power dynamics, um, Uncovering the motivations of somebody through lines of questioning that are not combative, uh, you could probably get out of a lot of situations with actually less conflict than it sounds like we're even talking about initiating. Less conflict. You could avoid that. You could scare someone into an outcome or you could lead someone to the water and they drink themselves and, you know, here we go, conflict resolved uh, or, you know, it didn't even, didn't even happen. Crisis averted, you know? Yeah. Not even a thing. So that would be probably my other two. For sure. And I'm glad you make that caveat at the end because I was going to add to that that those, to me, are really about protection. 
right? It's like what Defense. they say, a great offense or a great defense, good offense, great offense, good defense, whatever, right? I play defense. But <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's seriously, though, mm-hmm. the same way that most people, it's like, you know, if you carry a firearm or you're fortunate enough to live in a place where you have the right to carry it if you so desire, it's always with that mindset, at least in my experience, I, I do carry a firearm, is so that I never have to use it, so that I could de-escalate a situation if necessary. It's never with the intent to go and cause harm. So I think the principles that are laid out in 48 Laws of Power, the Art of War, they're really to be able to de-escalate situations but know what tactics are being employed against you by the potential oppressor, by the potential attacker or, or, or the uh, that conflict uh, mm-hmm. uh, source so that you can defuse the situation in as you know quickly, swiftly, and in a, in a more agile manner than, than may happen if somebody doesn't really understand all of the dynamics in place. And it's like when you play Jenga, you might think you're finna pull the right block, but if you're not really peeping all the angles and all the dynamics of it, what you pull and you think is going to be helpful could cause the whole thing to come tumbling down. So you must be careful in combustible situations to make sure that you really put that fire out in a safe manner. So I think those great recommendations. 